A wild and dangerous pursuit happening right now. Good evening. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. I'm Mark Brown. This is Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock. You're looking at live pictures from Van Nuys and the vehicle being pursued is that work van right there. We have Chris Christie live in Air 7 HD. What's the freeway? What, what's the situation we're looking at here, Chris? Mark and Michelle, LAPD was following the stolen van up until about five minutes ago when he decided to run. They did, tried to light him up and he ran for it. He was uh, going down Van Nuys Boulevard, uh, made a turn onto Sherman Way, and then took out a couple of light poles and just a few seconds ago jumped onto the 405 from Victory Boulevard. As we came on the air here, we're now southbound on the 405 freeway doing excessive speeds, close to 100 miles per hour. LAPD in pursuit right behind him as well as from the air, their airship is right overhead as well and this guy is uh, driving very erratically in fact I'm sure in the next couple of seconds we'll be able to roll some tape for you of a, a very erratic maneuver just a few seconds ago before we came on the air he got off of Victory Boulevard not sure if he thought he uh, had a, an outlet to, to turn off of but he basically backed up into a into a traffic light took out the traffic light and then uh, booked it He's now on the 405 getting off onto the 101 freeway, going to be going southbound on the 101 freeway now as we make our way through Sherman Oaks, guys. Yeah, uh, Chris, I don't know if it's just uh, <coughs> erratic driving or if there, there might be something wrong with the vehicle. It seems like it's wobbling a little bit. Are you seeing that too? Uh, can't tell from my vantage point. Uh, it's possible that he may have damaged the vehicle. He took out a couple of uh, a couple of poles, at least one traffic light, as I mentioned. He came very close to hitting a tree. So if there's any damage to the vehicle, certainly a possibility. As you can see, though, the freeway is right o wide open now as he makes his way southbound through Sherman Oaks. Uh, it's going to be uh, actually eastbound through this part of town, technically the southbound yeah. side of the 101 freeway there. And you can see coming very close to that vehicle, and it did look like that. Uh, the rear end of that van was uh, fishtailing ever so slightly there. So certainly uh, a heavy vehicle, not sure what he's hauling there. But again, it reported to be a stolen van. Looks like some kind of a business, some kind of an advertisement on the van. I can't make out what it says. Unfortunately, unclear where the van was stolen from. Uh, it's a plumbing van. It's a plumbing mm -hmm. van uh, out of the valley. So this all started in the West Valley, made its way into the Van Nuys area, and now we find ourselves coming off the 405 onto the 101 freeway again as we make our way eastbound through the valley, but on the southbound side of the 101 freeway again. LAPD is the lead agency here. However, if he stays on the freeway, of course, as we know so well, CHP will take this over. They are certainly monitoring uh, from their dispatch center, and they probably already have units on the way over here but as you can see, LAPD, again, the lead agency in this pursuit, again, doing speeds close to 90 miles per hour right now. At one point, southbound on the 405 was doing about 100, so doing very excessive speeds. Unclear how many people may be inside this van. Uh, obviously, we've got a driver in there, but uh, whether there's anybody else in there, we have no clue at this point. And when you look at the speeds, this thing is not meant to do that. Here's the video on the right. This happened just a little, uh, just before we came on the air. He ran off the road. You see him hitting that one sign. Then he hits the traffic light, knocks that over, takes that out, and then proceeds up and off over the curb and then off back onto the street again. This was in Van Nuys just about, I don't know, about 30 seconds before we came on the air. Mm -hmm. Then he got on the freeway there and, and may have sustained some damage to the van. But you, you've, you've got to be... Uh, mindful of the fact these things are not meant to go 100 miles an hour. It does not have the sort of suspension that can sustain any sort of sharp movement at that speed. This is an extremely dangerous situation for the driver in the van and any vehicles that are nearby if he were to lose control. Uh, he's now continuing southbound on the 101 freeway in the Studio City area, Laurel Canyon Boulevard, and he will so shortly uh, be making a decision about whether to get on the 101 southbound or continue eastbound on the 134 freeway. Chris, uh, who's, is it CHP that's the lead agency behind him now, or is it still LAPD? LAPD still has uh, the lead on this one. CHP is monitoring, and they are on their way over here. But I can tell you, these vans, as you mentioned, certainly not designed to go these speeds, uh, especially with all of that equipment. If this is indeed a rotor rooter van with uh, lots of plumbing equipment in there, certainly that would explain some of the fishtailing that we saw earlier. A very heavy load, possibly, with lots of work equipment inside that van. So certainly they could be dealing with uh, uh, an extra large and extra heavy vehicle as they uh, eventually decide what to do with a vehicle 
vehicle like this. Again, those details do play into the decision making of law enforcement. If it comes down to a pit maneuver or something like that, they have to take all of those things into consideration. But it does look uh, indeed, is he getting off there, Mike? 101 South. Looks like we're yeah, point, taking right? the 101 South. Yep, taking the 101 South. And the, uh, we are going to be making our way into Universal City here as we continue in through the Coanga Pass. Again, very light traffic. LAPD still the lead agency here. And you can see that night sun coming from LAPD's helicopter as well. So, again, going close to 100 miles per hour once again with lots of roadway in front of them and very little traffic. Again, very, very fast speeds for this type of a vehicle, uh, and certainly with uh, the amount of uh, well, the amount of roadway he's got ahead of him here, he can certainly uh, push the envelope here, but it's not going to end pretty. Okay, uh, 101 South now coming up on uh, Lancashire Boulevard, as uh, Chris mentioned in the Universal City area, this pursuit of a white work van, a plumbing van. And uh, this began a little bit before 11 o'clock. It has been an extremely dangerous chase, as we saw moments ago, as we re-racked some video, and we'll show that to you again uh, in a few minutes as we can get that ready again. Uh, this individual is very desperate to get away from police. Uh, here we, where you're seeing an, uh, evidence of that, the right side of your screen, this taken at about 11 o'clock p.m., this video of him uh, making this erratic or her erratic move, maneuver, trying to get away from police, uh, knocking over that light pole and then getting onto the freeway, the southbound 405, and then eventually transitioning to the 101 southbound. And that's where we are now. And according to our SkyMap technology, speeds over 90 miles an hour in a vehicle that is uh, definitely not designed to go that fast. Yeah, and yeah, it, and he makes know, we, it, he we, makes we an erratic just, maneuver. maneuver. We, it's all over with this thing. Uh, yeah, he's look at him definitely fish wobbling. Now. Yeah, wobbling. Go ahead, uh, Chris. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, I was just going to say, you know, we, we mentioned just a few seconds ago how he's got all of this room to play with on the freeway, uh, yet despite that fact, he is uh, seeming to be, he's still weaving unnecessarily over the paint, over the gore points, uh, around traffic that really isn't even there. I mean, uh, he could certainly slow down. He could certainly uh, get in the fast lane and just stay in that carpool lane and just continue going southbound. But he was all the way over to the right for a short time, showing signs of maybe trying to get off there. But every time he touches the wheel, you can see that vehicle is very top heavy and he's wobbling uh, every time he switches lanes. You can see it now very clearly, uh, Michelle, as we make our way southbound here on the 101 freeway, as we make our way into the heart of Hollywood, we're going to see a little bit more traffic up ahead here, but still lots of room to him for him to maneuver here. And CHP is just about a minute out here, a minute out here, so they will be eventually taking this pursuit over pretty shortly. Yeah, I believe there's a CHP headquarters right around uh, Vermont Avenue and the 101, if I, if memory serves. So he's heading right into there area where there's going to be a lot of reinforcements available for them, but certainly they're out on the roads anyway here. Uh, but yes, as we watch this thing, uh, he, it wobbles quite a bit. It's top heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to, our, our old, our former news vans, not the ones we have now, but the ones that we used to have were, were similar to this. Uh, and I remember how top heavy they are. And you get that thing above 70 miles an hour and it's a little scary because uh, it doesn't have real good uh, steering in it. It's just not meant to do this. It's meant to carry oh, stuff. Okay. And, oh, oh, we got here trouble. We, here, we, here we go, guys. Okay, oh, hitting several crashed. vehicles. He's getting off at Hollywood oh, Boulevard wow. here. We're in the heart of Hollywood. Oh, wow. Grabbing right into an SUV there. Oh. Lots of damage to the several vehicles there and now making his way in the eastbound direction on Hollywood. So obviously a very desperate individual behind the wheel, really ramping things up here in the last few seconds showing no signs for anybody or no, no regard for anybody's safety here and very desperate to outrun the cops now they are right behind him they're going to try and keep up with him here but at these speeds moving through Hollywood it's going to be a very dangerous situation they may have to put this in tracking mode but they can't let him go too far because you see the damage he's already done there we've hoped that nobody was hurt oh my goodness another pedestrian almost taking a hit there fortunately it looks like he just missed a pedestrian crossing the street but we saw several Several vehicles already hit by this vehicle and heavy damage. Again, hopefully no injuries back at uh, the Hollywood exit. That was the 101 at Hollywood Boulevard. Now we're continuing eastbound 
through Los Feliz on Hollywood Boulevard. LAPD still overhead here. I cannot tell you quite how far back the closest unit is, but they are doing their best to keep up with him. Again, doing speeds mm. upwards of 60 miles per hour on Hollywood Boulevard, now turning onto a side street into He's Alexandria gonna Avenue. He's going to foot bail him here most likely as he pulls into this parking lot behind an apartment building in a uh, commercial parking lot adjacent to an apartment building, maybe doing a loop back onto Hollywood Boulevard. Sure enough, mm -hmm. going to be going now westbound on Hollywood Boulevard. LAPD, if you notice, as he was making his way eastbound on Hollywood Boulevard, had a couple of units that I noticed, maybe just parked vehicles, parked black and white, but they were up ahead of him. Uh, again, can't tell if that was coordinated or if they just happened to, be par happened to be parked vehicles. You can see there is a unit right behind him, now turning off of Hollywood Boulevard onto Winona Boulevard. And so LAPD not giving this guy any distance to play with here. He is very dangerous and wow. they are staying right on his tail. These speeds with a vehicle this heavy moving through a suburban neighborhood like this is just so, so dangerous as he continues to drive very erratically, swerving all over the roadway now onto Franklin Avenue as we make our way westbound, just crossing Kingsley Drive, guys. He's having trouble stopping. Mm -hmm. He's having trouble steering. He's having trouble keeping control of this thing. Anything jumps out in front of him at this point, we have real trouble ahead for anybody in this neighborhood. If you are in this neighborhood, please stay indoors. Don't go out and right certainly stay away light. from him. He's going through a red light. Where was that, Franklin and uh, what, Western? Uh, that was Garfield Place, Franklin and Garfield now making another left-hand turn here. So he's going to be starting to do some circles here in Hollywood with no clear indication of where he wants to bail. You can kind of get the sense that he's looking for a spot where he could jump out, kind of hide out, and uh, lose that sun, that night sun and uh, the closest unit behind him. But uh, neither are going away. The unit, uh, the uh, helicopter, oh, ooh, almost went oh. on with that black and white there. The, uh, the LAPD airship is not going anywhere, and neither are the units right behind him. They are continuing to stay very close or as close as they possibly can, as close as they safely can right behind him. But this is a felony suspect mm. and they are not going to let him get too far. You can see a number of units now making their way into the area here as he makes his way westbound. There are also units moving in the eastbound direction. You can see two more right there and he has no problem crossing those double yellow lines. That's what's so dangerous. When you see somebody this desperate <coughs> who is willing to stop at no cost to try and get away here. It doesn't matter to this guy who he hits or what he hits or who he hurts. He just wants to get away. And in a vehicle this heavy, this is just so, so dangerous as we make our way through the heart of Hollywood. In the here, heart guys. of Hollywood. You see the stars on the Walk of Fame here on Hollywood Boulevard. He's heading westbound. This is an area that's going to have pedestrians all hours of the day or night. It's going to have heavy traffic all hours of the day and night. It's a tourist area. There's a ton of people in this area. He's passing by, uh, I think he's passing Highland right now. Hollywood and Vine. Yeah, just, now he just yeah, turned just, uh, what appears to be south on Vine. Is that correct? Yeah, south on Vine and kind of zigzagging his way through Hollywood here. Now going to make a right on Selma Avenue. Uh, glad to see him get off of Hollywood Boulevard here. But once again, looks like he might be looking for a spot to, to bail here. Uh, you can see every Parking time structure. he turns that wheel, he was losing control. And uh, as he was making his way along the uh, Walk of Fame here, looks like he's going to come out the other mm -hmm. end here. This is going to be, uh, looks like he's back on to Sunset Boulevard now. Westbound on Sunset Boulevard, swerving through traffic. And. Uh, I've got to tell you, I'm oh, a bit no. oh, almost another crash there. Again, right through these red lights. I, I'm a little bit surprised, but very happy to see LAPD trying their very, very best to stay as closely behind him as possible. It's very difficult with these kinds of driving conditions. Fortunately, if there's any silver lining here, this time of the day would be the least populated time of the day in Hollywood. But certainly you could see uh, even uh, at 11 o'clock on a Wednesday night, lots of traffic over here and plenty of pedestrians mm -hmm. still walking around, as you mentioned, Mark, ever so dangerous as we oh make our way. Now. Oh, gosh. hits the He's curb there. The curb. Yep, and he's going to hit the curb again. Wow. He's in the median, losing control of the vehicle. This is going to be it here. If he continues to accelerate, he's going to lose control of the vehicle into some oh, more parked cars here. This person cars. may very well be under the influence of something. I would not be surprised at all. Looks like here there's comes a the passenger, passenger Chris. side door. Yeah, passenger side door has just popped open. A passenger now making a run for it. I believe the driver is still going to be in the driver's That's side, in the driver's seat. 
We still have to assume that the driver's in the driver's seat. LAPD is going to take down the passenger here, and now we'll go ahead and pan back over to the van. This is the, the van that has been trying to outrun police now for the better part of 20 minutes, and uh, I can't say whether that was the driver that crawled over to the passenger side or whether the driver is still in the driver's seat. That's my inclination, but as you can see, the pursuit ending here into uh, several parked vehicles after doing some damage to the vehicle itself. He jumped on the curb, then onto the median, lost control as he accelerated uh, through Highland Avenue here. And uh, man, oh man, this could have ended so much worse. Certainly lots of damage that we've witnessed here. No major injuries that we've observed. Fortunately, this pursuit now coming to an end, but what a wild one and what a precarious circumstance as we uh, crisscross the streets of Hollywood. Fortunately, this has come to a peaceful end. Hopefully, they can extract the driver very peacefully as well, and this will be all over. But right now, officers with their guns drawn have no idea how many people are still inside that vehicle. Could very well be more than one person, so we've got to wait and see here, and they will uh, proceed with caution. Yeah. as they try and approach that vehicle. But uh, I cannot tell, I've got to be honest, I can't tell if that was the driver that crawled over to the passenger mm -hmm. side and jumped out or if the driver himself is still in the driver's seat. Uh, unclear from our vantage point and here. And real, real quickly, the location, is this Sunset Boulevard? Uh, this is just off of Sunset. This is Highland Avenue at Leland Way is where this ended. Well, Chris, you know, there is also the possibility that the pa if that was the passenger and not the driver who got out of the passenger side car, that perhaps he was trying to get the driver to stop and maybe there was an argument over, you know, mm -hmm. and grabbing for the wheel. Who knows? Yeah. It, it kind of had that look to it. Right. Because it Absolutely. suddenly, you know, just went crazy. Yeah, and the passenger didn't exactly run. Right. Uh, he kind of walked away. He or she kind of walked away. Uh, again, uh, you, when that happens, you're a little bit shell-shocked mm -hmm. at first, uh, especially at after pursuit. colliding with those vehicles. Um, but you're right. We have no idea whether that was a cooperative party or whether that was a hostage situation, yeah. somebody trying to get away from this individual uh, and lucky to escape. Those details certainly will be cleared up here in the next several minutes. But in the meantime, LAPD not taking any chances here they have to be very very careful as they call in for additional backup and start to shut down highland avenue both uh north of this point and south of leland avenue as well they will be shutting down both intersections and they will eventually approach the vehicle when they feel it is safe to do so. But as you can see, lots of units out of the valley and Hollywood units right behind them as well. Several officers up near the top right-hand corner of your screen with their guns drawn, several long weapons out, some lethal, some non-lethal weapons out there. And this is now gonna be a major crime scene. You can see that some of the traffic is still getting by on Highland Avenue. That's gonna be northbound traffic on Highland Avenue. They're gonna do their very best to shut down all of that traffic here in the next several seconds. That's exactly what they're trying to do, but for the time being, they have a little bit of a, a situation because they cannot afford to have any cross traffic uh, in the line of fire just in case they have to use force here. They do not want any crossfire injuries. So they're going to wait until tra traffic is completely shut down try and establish communication. Now, once he hit that curb, collided with those vehicles, there may have also been airbags possibly that could have possibly deployed. It's an older model van, unclear whether it even has airbags, but that's a possibility in this circumstance. So we'll wait and see what the condition is of the driver, if the driver's still in the driver's seat and whether there happens to be anybody else in the back of that van. Okay. And the, the, the want for this individual in addition to the vehicle being stolen was assault with a deadly weapon. That's what we're hearing. Um, don't know the circumstances of it. Obviously, the details aren't available to us yet, but we get a clear look at it. It's quality jet router. It's a plumbing van, um, and uh, p this pursuit started in the valley. We don't know if necessarily the, the company is, is uh, or where that van was stolen from, but we uh, first learned of it when it was in the, in the San Fernando Valley, in the Van Nuys area, and Air 7 was able to get to it very, very quickly. They are right now they have their guns trained on the van. Now, there's a lot of space in there, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. so for somebody to hide out. So they're going to be very careful about removing uh, this person, if there is still someone in the van, uh, to get them out. Now, you can bet that they've talked to whoever came out, <clears throat> that person that was uh, kind of trotting away yeah. from the passenger side uh, when this thing first stopped. Uh, they've probably spoken to, they, they have to have spoken to that individual right now to find out who, uh, if there is anyone else in the van, uh, they'll, they'll know that. And, uh, 
even if they said there's nobody, they're going to have to, they're not going to take their word for it necessarily. So you've got, you see one officer with an assault weapon uh, and several officers yep. there with, uh, with their handguns and there are lethal and as you mentioned, Chris Christie, lethal and non-lethal weapons. So they're going right to the right to the back which tells me that that may have very well been the driver that uh, went out the passenger side and they are now just going to clear the vehicle there are two arrest teams one near the top of your screen another one clearing the back of the van but based on the fact that they started with that back door unless they know that there's somebody back there that's an indication to me that they are about to give the code for here and that may have very well been the only individual inside this van okay. but man what a wild mm. pursuit yeah you can see here they've given the code for everybody walking back to their patrol cars but it just became a very busy night here for the Hollywood division as they now have to attend to several different accident scenes all over as we made our way off of the 101 freeway that's where the damage really began and uh, several other collisions uh, between here and there and who this is that the driver <coughs> that's the driver so that's this is the driver we're looking at here and uh, looks like an older man, man. Yeah. looks like an older older man uh, that's the best we can tell from this from from this vantage point. But uh, he is now up against the patrol car, and what his situation is is going to be some story. Man, why he decided to take LAPD on this kind of a dangerous ride this evening is really going to be something, guys. Yeah, they'll be uh, tallying up a lot of damage tonight, a lot of investigating to do uh, this evening following this chase that has ended in Hollywood. Uh, ending just about five minutes ago, a crashing end hitting one of those two cars there, the, the second one behind the van. We saw a person get out of that car, the person very fortunate to, uh, to be okay. Uh, looks like the other car uh, was not occupied, uh, but there was someone in that car, and they were, they were lucky that they weren't hit uh, in, in a more serious nature. Wow, amazing. Nobody's really, yeah. nobody's hurt that we know of in this whole thing, so that is uh, great news. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.